Tim with a Y, not with an I. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> And this is another exclusive interview. What's up, girl? Hey! Hey, damn, doing her thing, you feel me? Hey, bro, I tried to holler at you, feel me? What? Shut up, Shay's. She lit, bro. She lit. That's my dog right here, bro, bro. She lit, y'all. Like Shay's out. Shay's out. Two eyes. Shay's out, man. Two M. This is another exclusive interview. What you got, Shay's out? I have the pleasure of being here in the home of Straight Fire Entertainment, a studio that you need to come stop by. Location right here. Come on. Come. Tim with a Y, how you feeling? It's, it's all good, man. I'm good to be here. I'm, I'm glad to be here. You know what I'm saying? Glad to, I'm glad to appreciate you for coming through. You feel me? Most Rocking definitely. with me. You feel me? No doubt. I truly appreciate you for bringing me in your home. So go ahead and tell these people what they need to know about you. What do you do? You're an artist. First and foremost, I love to rap. I love to spit bars. That's my thing. Um, I write and produce all my own music. I produce, keyword produce means I make I make beats. Also, I engineer, I mix and master all my own vocals. And I'm just the overall business mogul. Like I'm into business adventures, business, anything business, like I'm, I'm in it. I can sell anything. So yeah, that's basically what I do. Um, I'm from Savannah. Okay. I'm from Savannah, born and raised from the city. You feel me, from the pole. What does being from Savannah mean to you? Being from Savannah for me mm. means being from nothing but the dirt. Mm. I'm not going to front. Um, it's really, I love my city, but it's really not a lot of opportunity out here. So I have to make do with what I have. So like with what little I have, I have, I have built, I have built something great so far. You feel me? And we're still moving up. You feel me? I'm not even not even done yet, but so far it's, it's moving pretty well. I've been able to learn my own craft, um, meet the right people to help me elevate my craft, um, give me space to, to allow myself to bring other people and, and help each other grow. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not selfish with what I do. I want to bring other people in so that we can all help each other to grow. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just, I just got to stay down. That's really what it's about. Most definitely. Yeah. So if you could give your music its own genre, what would it be? Or what would it be called? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So mean. <laughs> mm. Its own genre. Uh, I probably just use the word raw just because it's, I, I speak the truth. Everything that I spit is true facts on everything. Like okay. I refuse, I refuse to let anything I say be like fabricated or, or just a trend thing, you know what I'm saying? Like I, everything I spit has got to be 100% authentic. Authentic to me, authentic to the, the culture around me, authentic to where I grew up. Everything has to be authentic to me. So if I, if I had to say, I would say it's the raw, it's the raw truth, the raw real. Um, that would be that. Would, I don't know if that could really be a genre. That would probably be more of a description. But still, like that's, it's the raw truth. It's it's gritty. It's 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 sometimes sometimes some of the bars hit in a spot where you it's a sensitive spot. Like you just it touch your heart, but at the same time it 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 might hurt just a little bit. But then you actually like rock with it just because I actually said it. You feel me? So I just. I just speak the truth, man. That's just my that's my thing. That's your thing. That's my thing. I feel yeah. that. So yeah. when did you just start speaking the truth? When did your music career start? When did you know this is what I want to do? Mm. I'm not gonna front. Okay, so it's a bit of a bit of a story. Okay, um, run it. So I started for real when I was down bad. Like I was, re I lost everything. Mm. Is what I'm saying. So fast forward. Through high school, I was I was playing ball or whatever, and and I thought that that was the direction I was gonna go, and that turned out to be a dead end. So, um, basically, I started I started working at a regular job, wasn't happy. So back to the back to the story. Mm -hmm. Basically, I when I say I lost everything, like I had an opportunity to get a house, I had a job, I had a car. 
had everything, almost everything that I needed. But first off, I got into a car accident. Um, two weeks after that, I lost my job because I couldn't get to work on time and all that hoopla, they just let me go. After that, maybe a week after that, I lost the deposit to go to, to get into my apartment at the time. So I was literally like down bad. I had nothing, nothing else. Only thing I had left when I was just like, man, I'm gonna just go buy a notebook and I'm gonna just start writing these thoughts out. Cause I know I used to do that back in the day, but I stopped for a while. So man, I just picked the notebook back up and just started writing and I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna do this for real. So that's where, that's when Tim with a Y was born. Okay. Okay. So with a Y, I know your name is Timothy. Yeah. Big and facts. with a Y, what made this your signature name? Well, my mama actually did it. Okay. Um, my mama literally named me Tim. Timothy was spelled with a Y. All right. Yeah, it's T-Y-M-O-T-H-Y. I don't know why she did it. Actually, I do, because my father's name is Timothy, but it's spelled with an I. Mm. She told me she didn't want me to be like my father, so she put a Y instead of an I. I said that I think that she did it because she knew it was going to be my time. Mm. Just a different way, just a different aspect on it. Cool. I like that. The right. heart. No Appreciate cap. that. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. So, uh, with you coming to Savannah State University, mm -hmm. being a student, right. being a part of another organization, right. holding down two jobs, how did you find the time? I had to make the time. Mm. Um, I had to decide. I had to make the decision. Like, I got two jobs. And I want to pursue this music, but are those jobs fulfilling me as an artist? Like, am I allowed to, am, am I, do I, will, will I be left with the time at the end of those two shifts to do what I want to do for real for me? That's one advantage you have being here, being from here than any other place. I say, especially being from Savannah, an advantage would be humble beginnings. There's not a lot that goes on here. Um, if you want something that goes, if you want something to happen here, you gotta make it happen. So a desire to make your vision a reality cause ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Indeed. So yeah, gave me, gave me a deeper hunger, a deeper hunger to, to get what I wanted. Cause again, ain't nobody gonna give it to you. So yeah, I love my city. I do love my city. I got to branch out, though. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I got to branch out on everything. Shout out to the 912. Facts that. You feel so, me? So, the other day, we were having a conversation, and you mentioned that in your childhood, you were afraid of clowns. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to front. Um, I, think it, I think it's like, I think it's my, more so my uncle's fault. Because <laughs> he 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 showed me the the movie uh, Stephen King's It. Mm -hmm. I was like seven years old, and I've never I've never seen. But he he showed me that right before we went to the circus. That's what blew me. <laughs> like he showed me that movie, and I was already scared. But then we went to the circus the day after, and then that following Halloween, this guy decides to be a clown, have a clown. <laughs> Like, come on, man! Like, that's too much. You stacking it? I'm, I'm good on clowns. Period. Like, I'm straight. But eventually, as I grew up, like, I, I learned, like, I'm not afraid of nothing. Like, nothing Indeed. can, nothing can, can, can mess with me. Nothing can mess with my perspective. Cause any fear around me. You know, fear does not exist. But yeah, that it took a while to get to that point. I'm not gonna front. It was, it was my uncle's fault. Thanks, uncle. Appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, it was cool. That's what's up, though. You, yeah. you overcame it. Fear not, be not afraid. Yeah. Facts. Fear not, be not afraid. You know what I'm saying? For the sure. Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear. Indeed. Big facts. So, throughout your childhood and your life, what's one obstacle that you faced that has definitely set you apart from anyone else? I had to. I had to be okay with being myself. Because, you know, a lot of people like to make struggle stories just to be accepted. A lot of people like to make um, make up stories just to, you know, um, fit in, I guess. Um, some people, I used to live in Florida for a while, and even then I didn't fit in because I was from Savannah. I had, I had a different lingo. I spoke different. I... 
I, I dressed different. I, my hair was different. Like they didn't, they didn't know, they didn't know what type of guy I was. So I had to be just okay with, with being myself. Cause there was a period of time where I was trying to, trying my hardest to fit in and it just didn't work. It didn't work because I didn't feel authentic and when I didn't feel authentic, they could feel that I don't feel authentic. And and it just didn't, I, I wasn't accepted anyway. So why not just be myself? You know? For sure. Yeah. People Glued used to buy together. from you, though. People used to buy them, for real. <laughs> Wear it as a chain, for real now. It is a suck. That was hard. I'm always a hustler. A true hustler. What fuels your ambition? Fuels my ambition? Um, making my dreams a reality. Mm -hmm. When I can actually, like, think of something that I want to do and think of how I want it done, and then when it's actually done, I can see it, I can hold it, that is the the best feeling in the world. I, I love it when I can bring something to fruition. That's, I, I love that feeling. You know, it just, it just fuels me to, to show me that I can, I can do much more. I can do anything, anything. You can do anything you put your mind to, I swear on everything. For real though, you just gotta have that drive. You gotta have that hustle. You can't take no for an answer. For real though, that's what that's what I love. Real speed, y'all. For real though, for real though. Okay, so tell me about this new body of music you just released. Okay, all right. So this new body of music is called "Stay Down." Um, it's a, a story of the things that I've had to go through, and what really held me to the vision, what really made me stay down with the vision. Um, it's, it's gonna be on, it's gonna be released. It's, it should be released already by this time, by the time people see this, it should be released. <laughs> um, New Year's Day is the release date and that is gonna be available. Um, it's gonna be available for pre-order. Um, on top of that, you're gonna get a, a free shirt of the branding. The branding is peace and blessings. You're gonna get a you get a free shirt of the of the of the branding and and the the whole project hits me hits me in and or or orders it. Um, what's the what's the right word to put it? It's gonna be exclusive to those who order it. Make sure y'all put y'all order in. Put your order in. I'm telling you, <laughs> like that that job is gonna be excellent. I'm telling you. Um, it's gonna be seven seven solid tracks straight bars on everything, um, hard hitting beats. You know how I do it. Like. Now give someone, a youth, a person, some words of encouragement that are watching this video that has heard your story. Mm. My young, my young hustler, my young hustler, don't ever stop. Don't ever take no for an answer. People gonna tell you, maybe you should do it this way. No, don't do it that way. Like, do it the way you want to do it and and accept nothing less for real like people gonna tell you that you can't do it for this reason but they are only putting their own fears of things that they couldn't accomplish on you don't accept that that is not acceptable at all do what you want to do how you want to do it i promise you if you envision it you can do it just keep hustling just stay down on everything Stay down for the come up. Stay Chase down. Chase your dreams. Big facts. And don't be afraid to speak up. This is Gushay Zam, two okay. Y's, two M's. This okay. was another exclusive interview. Ten with a Y. Not with an I. Get info your information, where they can find you, <laughs> find your music, all that good stuff. It's Tim with a Y. That's T-Y-M-W-I-T-A-Y. Everywhere you can follow me, Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud, even Loom, everything, every just search me up. You're gonna you're gonna find me. You're gonna find my whole catalog on everything. You wanna get in the studio, hit me up. I'm available. For sure. And you already know my social media is at Shazam. That's Shazam two Y's two L's. Mm -hmm. And you know who I got on the visuals. D Walk at name right here. D Walk. Y'all stop playing. Go Good ahead facts. and get them pre orders. Let's go. Facts. Pre orders available. Yeah. Get them pre orders. Yeah. 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 Everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My trap it like a bodega. I got like 10 different flavors. Came on a boat from Jamaica. Throw this organic through nature. My trap it like a bodega. I cut you a deal with a razor.